Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ruled Waves 2, Italy. <laughs> it's getting a longer pause at the end of that every time. Uh, so in the last episode, we did some redesigns, and we did some new designs. So we're doing the new Sicily class Dreadnought, which is a new 24,000 ton, 22 knot monster of a ship. Uh, and that will be taking over as our main ship class over the Primarch Andronus. Uh, which will just be a two-ship kind of test dreadnoughts, because that's it's it's was our first ones we tried to get into dreadnoughts. Uh, keeping the Stephen Walker as a battle cruiser, we might uh, try and uh, make a couple more of those. But looking at our finances, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these destroyers and we are going to scrap them just to save us some money. It's eighty a month that we're gaining with that because we're. We've got so many destroyers. Like, I'm good, and the newer ones we have are more capable than the older ones that we have. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. We need to prioritize rebuilding the heavy cruisers that we have. Because uh, I don't think we have... Well, actually, we might want to try and instead of just rebuilding probably get rid of this last Marco Polo and we'll try and go ahead and do a um, uh, either another Prisa class but, well Prisa's, Prisa's out of date yeah the Prisa's not up to snuff we could try and make a new heavy cruiser design so what's this trying to make 18, so 18,300 tons. Cramped conditions. If we get that to normal, we could. Could bring the deck armor down to two inches. That saves us a huge a fuck ton of weight. With that, we'll probably get rid of the torpedo mounts, because I don't want... The thing is, is the only ones I, I really care about torpedoes is the destroyers at this point, because they're, if they're fixed mountings. You have to be so precise with the angle of attack. They're really, they're only good for finishing ships off. And I'll keep those on my light cruisers. I don't I, These heavy cruisers, I, I don't... Unless we start getting above water torpedo mounts, then I'll maybe put like a, a couple of batteries of like two tubes on either side. But we don't have, have those unlocked, so I'm kind of ignoring them. Uh, so we got that. 27 speed is a bit quick, actually. That's a bit faster than... Well, it's, only, it's one... It's, hmm. I'm thinking maybe 26 just to save a little bit of weight. So we have enough for what I want to do here is I want to add... Because we can have four centerline turrets. So I want to go ahead and I want to add a superimposed. And I don't think... Do we not have superimposed? Oh, we do. There we go. Aft centerline superimposed. Is there not a forward superimposed? I don't see it. Okay. Is that good? Slightly overweight. That's true. Okay, so let's... Let's delete the centerline turret. We have 700 tons of weight spare, which is actually good. They'll let us do that, but I don't want to do that. Hmm... So this gives us a six a six ten inch gun broadside. We bring you up to nine inches on that armor. Nine inches is equivalent to some early game battleships. Turrets, I want you at nine and a half. Turret top at two and a half is good. Colonial service. Can I give you long range, maybe? No, 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 no. Can I keep you at 27 and colonial service? Just, you know what, we'll keep a little bit of spare weight just in case we want to do something more with this in the future with the rebuild. It's a 30-month build time. We could probably drop the weight just a little bit. That's something we could do. We could just make it smaller. 26 knots what I originally wanted. That's still a pretty damn good ship. 26 knots, 9-inch belt. 
Good torpedo protection. 17,600 tons. Yeah, the Giuseppe. Just, uh, the Giuseppe. Uh, we're actually just... Yeah, we'll just keep that. The, we'll just call it the Giuseppe because it's... I feel like I'm, I'm racist when I say that. And I probably am, but... Either way, so we'll keep that going, and we'll go ahead and save the design. We should be able to research it. No. I'll have to bring it up again in a couple of months. Because we're pretty cash-strapped after that war. Uh, we need to get our economy back up, or at least our naval budget back up to full, uh, so that we can keep going here. But uh, then again, our, our main rivals in the... Uh, Mediterranean are mostly, it looks like. Yeah, they're 100% going in on their uh, their dreadnoughts and battle cruisers. Well, we are still, and a apparently a couple of destroyers for the Austro Hungarians, uh, but we're still kind of trying to get some of our light cruiser force up to uh, the numbers we want them to be at. So, that's a thing. Uh, and I mean, in all honesty, we should probably be doing the same thing, uh, getting up all of our. Um, uh, our, our big ships. Uh, right to destroyer screen. We don't have the money for it. No, we'll have to develop it ourselves. Sorry. I wanted to buy it, but you, you should have waited an extra month. Okay, baffled by early airships. Okay. One more month. Finished construction of a 9-inch coastal battery in Libya. That's good. Forgot we were building that, but that's actually a very good thing to have. Uh, okay, the uh, the the Christopher Colombo, uh, hmm. commissioned into the navy. All right, a world cruise of our young cadets is planned. Some of our newest and most powerful ships. Uh, mine rails on light cruisers and destroyers. Okay. Okay, the dreadnought Sicily. It's ready for construction. We'll put one down. It's, God, that is expensive. Put it down. I don't know if we're going to build it. Uh, but either way, that's now being built, and we're just barely keeping it above uh, break-even. So that's good. Uh, we got 13 months, about a year before that comes up. All right. Expected advances in anti-sub warfares. So that's good. So with that, that gives us two Dreadnoughts in service, which puts us fairly close to the Austro-Hungarians and the French. Uh, our battlecruiser force is severely smaller. That is, that is a problem. Finish that. Finish that. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these are going out of date because of just the time. It's been 10 years since some of these have been built, so they're out of date. Uh, Lispleza class. If we go to a redesign on the Lispleza, because now we have mine rails. We can't put those on, can we? Mines. It would just be overweight. So we actually could replace machinery and put like 70 mines on this thing and it would be fine. That would be totally within what it's supposed to do. Would not... Hmm. Technically we could also increase the, the speed of these things quite a bit. That would make it a 10 month rebuild. Be expensive, but that would increase their capabilities a little bit. We'll have to look at that. That's something we'll have to look at in the future. And then maybe minesweeping gear on some Corvettes. That might be worthwhile. Austrian government has uh, buying the rights of hydraulic rammers. Yeah, by all means, buy it. Give us some money. We need it. We are low on cash. We're right behind the French, so I don't know the French are keeping up with three like large classes of ships. Two battlecruisers and a dreadnought. But they are. Hmm. Okay. Let's just keep going. Okay, there we go. The Columbo has finished her working up. Appears to be considering a naval rearmament program. 
Should condemn them, get prestige and some tension up, which should help us with our budgetary problem. Oh, that jumped us up quite a bit. That's great. That gives us enough to start construction on the rebuild of the Roma class. Now, see, here's why, here's why I'm envisioning the Romas. I'm envisioning the Romas as just being, uh, like, helping with the policing of the Mediterranean, while the Dreadnoughts and Battlecruisers will be our actual striking force. Uh, some more, like, I guess, coastal battleships would be what the Roma are nowadays. Uh, is about what I'm thinking. We'll have to see. Uh, can we design a new destroyer class? We haven't increased the weight. We could put minesweeping gear on here. Seriously overweight. But other than that... 32 knots, minesweeping gear. Other than that, it seems to be fine. Can we get normal accommodation, maybe? Yeah. Here we go. That's great. And can we get 5-inch? Okay, we can't. Gotta be 4-inch guns. That's still okay. That's not a bad... That's really not a bad... Uh, little destroyer. I guess it'd be a minesweeper, actually. Because it would have a minesweep... It'd have mines on it. Well, it'd have a minesweeping gear. Two tons underweight. And it's all good. Yeah, the Nimbo. That doesn't sound right. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and put you in for one month. We'll start putting you up as our new destroyer class. Selling us rights for the plotting table. We'll buy it because we can. We can. Rate of fire increase or accuracy increase. Saving on the hulls, good. Uh, three thousand yards at twenty-eight knots. Fifteen thousand yards or meters. I'm not sure if it's meters or yards at twenty knots. It's, it's really good. Okay, go to the build screen. I want you to build two of those. All right. So those two are being built. We can go out here and put the Roma uh, onto the reserve fleet because they are not uh, needed right now. Uh, that does put us quite low on our battleships, but it doesn't matter. That will allow us to uh, save a bit of money. And we can actually also build a couple more of these destroyers. Two more. Gives us four. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that Marco Polo on Foreign Station uh, is a problem. Because it has cramped accommodations. Which means it's very... Um, it shouldn't be out there with what's got, but we don't have anything to... I mean, we could switch out the Parisa, which is for colonial service, if I recall correctly. It does have colonial service as its, uh, its actual... Yeah, it is spec for colonial service, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to move ship back to the Mediterranean. And we're going to move the Parisa to Southeast Asia. Okay. Another thousand tons on our, sh on our uh, shipbuilding capacity. Great Britain uh, wants to extend our security arrangement. Yes. Yes, we should extend it. I'm good with that. Alright. And our, our cruisers are moving where they need to go. So that works. Okay. Couple more months. Uh, British government is offering to sell us rights to the base fuse. We can afford it by one dollar. I guess one thousand dollars. Pounds. Currency. Go ahead and take that. Enables sap ammo. All right. Enables building of medium-range subs. That's going to be important. 
Okay. We have one... Our treasure... Our funds, we have $1,000 in the budget this month. And that's it. Uh, asking if we can guarantee a victory over the U.S. should... Uh, war, uh, sh if war should come. We have to do them in dreadnoughts. We're behind them in battle cruisers and in battleships. We are with the British. If we're with the British, we should be able to do it. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping. Okay. Mr. Once told an international naval gathering with a sailing regatta. No, we can't do that. Okay, accuracy improvements, good. Okay, three more months for the next uh, Lispeliza to come off the slips. Five more months for the rebuild of the Roma. Six more months for half of our destroyers to be finished. Let's just keep going here. One of our minor allies in the Balkans threatened by a neighbor. Back them unconditionally. Enable secondary guns in turrets on Dreadnoughts. That's good. That helps us out quite a bit. That'll let us... Uh, well, I mean, it would if we weren't already building the next generation of our Dreadnoughts. So, yeah, we gotta deal with that. Another thousand tons from our private shipbuilding. That is great. There we go. Advances in hull construction... Weight savings on the hull, 1%. Okay. So that's something else done. We could go ahead and build another Sicily. Or, because I forgot it, didn't we just... Yeah, the Giuseppe? Yeah, the Giuseppe. Is good. I think we have the money now. Yes. Nope. Don't. God damn. Uh, one of our cruisers ran aground. Demand they release the ship. Okay. So let's go ahead and open you up again. The Giuseppe is done save yes override the save okay we have enough three months to do, to research that should be fine roma's almost done with her rebuild okay uh new research area shipborne aircraft operation okay nice yeah we're getting into that time it's 1912 okay the nimbo First of the these are coming very soon. Two months for the next heavy cruiser to come off. Let's get some cash. New methods and technology are introduced. Okay, nice. Two destroyers in the Navy. New Russian battle cruiser. What has it got? 14 inch guns, six of them. It's a fairly new design, nine inch belt, 28 knots. Okay, quick. One more month. Got a lot of spare cash. Two more destroyers. British government is offering to sell us the rights to 14 inch guns of quality zero for 3,000. Yes. There we go. Better 14 inch guns. We've got the new Giuseppe. That will be three of those. We're putting right on. Should be good in four months when the uh, the the Nino Bixo comes off. And yeah, it's looking good. So then we'll also maybe look into going ahead and rebuilding more of these uh, Romas to the newer design just to help a little bit. But their their time is coming up. Their their days are numbered in terms of usefulness. Quality control too? Yeah, we'll take that tech. 
Gradual improvement in armor quality and 1% weight savings is good. 2% savings on armor, that is good. And torpedo protection 2 on ships, ah, all in the same time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead since we have so many things here. Let's bring you down to a medium and let's go for aviation lighter than air. Let's see if we can get some airships going. Three more months. Another 500 tons from our private shipbuilding. A new Austrian battlecruiser, the Triol. What is this? Three inch turrets for 13 inch guns. Uh, or three, in three gun turrets, three of them for 13 inch guns. So it's got nine main guns, 24 six inches, 26 knots, nine inch belt. Okay. 27,800 tons. So it's bigger than ours by a bit. What uh, weapons do we have on here? 13 inch guns. We're three guns down from uh, from them as well. I don't know. I'll have to see how we can do work with those. Stephen Walker's still a good class. 5% increase in sub reliability is good. Early airships. We now have airships. Should be able to build an airbase now, and we will in Sicily. At, um, I don't know, we'll put it uh, there. Four months, cost 700. Put that one down there for eight airships. Help us get some sight over the Mediterranean. Okay, there's our next light cruiser. Uh, International, go for the win. Okay, 1,100 ton displacement for destroyers now. All right. And we continue our building spree here. All right, and you, we're going to mothball you. We've got the three redesigned Marco Polos, but I think uh, the Carlo and uh, the Varis will be scrapped. To save us a bit of cash. As we are designing new heavy cruisers that are far more capable, larger, faster, and better. Also thinking we should probably go ahead and take another five destroyers. Ah, no, we'll keep them on for a while. We can keep them going for a bit. Um, Marcella. I'll keep the Marcellas for a little bit longer. So we have to really look at our our budget and what we've got inside of this uh, uh, what we got inside of this um, our navy because we do not have a huge budget. We have to pick and choose quite a bit. It doesn't help that we have such a large battleship complement that's taken a lot of budget to keep it going. All right, next turn, offering to sell us the rights for destroyer screen. We don't have that money, as we are going down in money every month for a while until we finish the Sicily. Another 500 tons for our docks, my god. Uh, no, don't have that money, even less money now. 11 months. Yeah, we'll keep these. I was going to say, we might be able to get rid of some coastal forts, but... No, we could get rid of the four-inchers. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the four-inch coastal forts, because these, quite literally, are not going to do anything anymore. We're going to scrap these two forts. Can't do that. Battery two, yes. So there we go. Just a little bit. We finished construction of airship base in Sicily. Okay, there's another light cruiser that's finished her working up. Detector firing has now been unlocked. 
scouting force enables a separate scouting force with uh, heavy cruisers and battle cruisers. 16 inch guns have been researched. That's good. All right. Actually, intel reports. What did we just see there? Oh, we have to go down. Uh, hmm. Messages. Here we go. Uh, okay, they rebuilt those battleships. I didn't. Okay. Just double checking. Ten more months. Getting a bit of money back. Uh, AP projectiles have been advanced. Enables damage from penetrating. Okay, enhances damage from penetrating hits. Uh, naval research, avia naval aviation heavier than air has been also unlocked. That is something. We are definitely going to put some effort into. Would be nice to getting some like f float planes or stuff. Uh, the government is considering making some symbolic concessions. No concessions. Eight more months for our next dreadnought to come through. Seven more months. <sighs> Let's also go ahead and put you on the reserve fleet. Keeping our heavy cruisers for the most part. Hey, you know what? We could go ahead and we can put two of these on the reserve. As well as the San Marco. You're... Oh, you're still in Northern Europe. Oh, uh, move ship. Go back to um, the Med. Might be why you cost a bit. Well, no, actually, you cost about the same, I guess. Uh, okay, well, that should help a little bit with our funding. Let's build up a little bit more cash. The more we have, the more we can spend on uh, on things later. New Russian battle cruiser. We have. I think we've already seen this one. Yeah, it's the same one we've seen before. Okay, horizontal turbines have been so at thirty knots we can get thirty eight hundred meters or yards and uh, eight thousand to twenty five knots. It's not bad. Actually, it's really good compared to what we started out with. French have four battle cruisers, two of those. Okay. Uprising of China makes it necessary to send an expeditionary force. Send a strong force, safeguard our interest. Okay. Four more months. Hawkish government. Excellent. Yes. More budget. What are you at? I don't know what you're at. You're close, though. We'll do two ticks. Reliable power and training elevation gear. Okay. Oh, yeah. austria Hungary's close. 11. One more tick, and they're, uh, they're over. Um, if we build a ship... Let's think about this. If we design a ship, we only have one Stephen Walker. It was a good first try. If we build a new battle cruiser at our max weight, it's got torpedo defense two. Okay, got that. Director firing position's good. Let's bring down these two, maybe 10 uh, secondary gun positions. Get you to medium range, and let's bring that deck to... Well, two's good. Turret topped, two and a half. Belt extended, let's bring that down to two and a half. Yeah, two and a half saves us a bit. Let's bring you down to one and a half. That gets us within range here. Again, clear the torpedo mounts on the underside. Within a hundred... A hundred tons. hundred tons. Turrets to eight and a half. 
It's okay. Nope, can't bring that up. Can't bring that up. I think that's good. So a new battle cruiser that's heavy with a lot of guns. That gives us a lot of guns. Gives us 12 14 inch guns of quality zero. Which means we have 15 inch armor, or no, 16 inch belt that we can get through at 5,000 yards. Oh yeah, yards is what we use, not meters. So, okay, yeah, so, so the torpedoes are at yards too, okay. Uh, but even at long range, we're getting through eight and uh, we're basically getting through nine inches of belt at 21,000 yards. Even at 22,000, we're still getting through eight and a half inches or more. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna save this design. Well, actually, hold on, cancel that. How much does this cost? Three thousand a month, thirty-four thousand. That is a big ship. See, I don't know if we can go with this. That's the problem. I don't know if we can. Can we redesign this? And will give us okay. This is better. This is a bit better. Actually, this gives us. A lot of spare weight. Medium. Good with that. Get you down to maybe 12 inches gun. That still gives us a fairly good... Yeah, our kill shot. The 8,000 yards, we're still getting through 11 inches of armor. Because, I mean, if we did go up to 14 inches, that would be great, but I don't think we need 14 inches. I think we're going to go with 12 and a, bet and a good quality gun. Clear all the mountings. Get rid of some of these secondaries to give us a little bit extra weight. Uh, that's actually not bad. 10-inch uh, belt. We can get to 14 inches with this. And that gives us 8 guns. 8 guns. Deck, I'll keep it 2. Turrets will go down to a 10. On you. Turret's top will keep there. Let's go to five inches on the secondaries. Okay. Can we get... Can we get the forward guns to maybe... Okay. So we have nine guns with a heavier forward than we will rear. But that's good. It's still... It's still very expensive. Very expensive. Okay. Decrease that. How much weight can we save by just bringing that down just a little bit? Just keep bringing it down. I want to save on the monthly build cost to this thing. 25,400. And that gives us a 25 knot speed, which is too faster than our battleship. Or we could go up to okay, 26,500. We bring you up to 26 knots to keep you in line with the uh, new heavy cruisers. And what we do to make that work is we bring the belt extended to two and a half inches. Gives us that brings the that brings the cost down a little bit. Enough that I can I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. So we'll go ahead and we'll save this. Yes, we'll override. Yes. Okay, so that's a new battle cruiser design coming off the slips, and we'll be able to also build it immediately once that's done, because the dreadnought, the Sicily, will be ready to go. Okay. We go to the next turn as well. An extraction, yeah, better fire control. I'm good with that. Uh, nope, can't risk. Uh, yeah, cooperation's good because if we go ahead, we'll just start a war, and I don't want to start a war just yet. Save on that whole construction weight. Okay, and we're building up a good amount of money every month. 
Okay, mastering the superheater. Airship base has been completed for Austria-Hungary. One more month for the Sicily to finish. Okay, one more month. And we're good. Ooh! Our dreadnought, the Sicily, is commissioned into the Navy. During trials, it is found that the ship is easily surpassing its design speed, so it sh might be able to get up to th uh, 23 knots. Should be really nice. Sounding us about alliance, Prime Minister thinks we can make it possible to save on defense expenditures. Stronger alone. Increased tension. We already have an alliance with the UK, uh, with Great Britain, which I'm good with. Okay, the battle cruisers finished her check. So let's go start building her. Okay, so that's being done. I think we also need to go ahead and start looking at maybe a couple more uh, air bases in the future, as well as some more subs, and definitely replacing these 500 ton uh, destroyers with uh, a mix of the. Well, actually, we have a new destroyer that just finished, or that just became available, because we have 1,100 tons now available to us. So go with that. We'll do an anti-sub warfare one instead of a mine uh, clearing one, because we have to make a choice. So we'll go ahead with that. I want its range at medium, and I want normal accommodations. And what we'll do to save a little bit on weight is to bring it down to 23 knots. I'm good with that. It's four inch guns. Can we get five inch guns on this? We can get five inch guns on this. So we'll get five inch guns. Uh, five inch guns. We haven't gotten any new things for torpedoes, so that's a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Save. Okay. But yeah. I think that's a good time to, as any to end, because we are a little bit over time. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. As well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!